Paul travelled about in the ancient world preaching the gospel of Christ near and far all around the Mediterranean basin and he comes to Athens on one occasion and he's wandering around in the town and he sees shrines and altars to various gods and goddesses and one is rather unusual. It is labelled to the unknown god, to the god we haven't yet identified to the expression of the divine that is probably a thing but we don't quite know what it is and haven't recognized it and understood it and Paul uses this idea when he goes to have a debate with the town philosophers at the famous Areopagus rock and he says that altar you have in the town to the unknown god I'll tell you something, I know who it is. Paul speaks with such confidence, it could come across as arrogance, but he's doing so not because he's cleverer than other people, not because he's read more, not because he's understand, understood academic tomes better than other people. He's not that kind of Christian, he's not that kind of person. He's not that kind of theologian. He's not an academic in the pure sense. He is speaking rather from the heart, from a visionary experience that he had years before on the Damascus Road when he was taken into the presence of God and the presence of the living risen Jesus and what he described as the third heaven. Whatever that precisely means, it was a visionary experience. And so he's able to speak from the heart, I have seen these things and I know who this unknown God is that you have described in that way. He is the one who joins us all together. He is the one who is the originator and creator of us all. He is the one that all humanity has in common. And this is a marvellous idea in understanding Paul and his early Christian ministry that he wasn't going about trying to sell religion. He wasn't trying to sell a new religion, a cult of Christ that has its own secret codes. He wanted to open people's eyes to that thing that is wonderfully universal, that all humanity has in common because we all share the same planet. The unknown God I've seen him, says Paul. He's the one who is for all of us. And this is the great thing about our religion. It is not a fringe activity. It is not a cult of Christianity. It is something that we all have in common. The word spirituality is perhaps a better way to understand what we're all about and our parish churches are not just for a little Sunday club they are for the parish everyone who lives in the parish everyone who passes through the parish all people who are human beings in a sense all creation everything that has come forth from this divine being that we are all drawing closer to I'm very fond of our Benefice logo, which features at its heart the Wissenset Cross, which is a wonderful feature in our Benefice, a wonderful treasure that we are very blessed and privileged to have. It is the only Saxon cross in the whole of Norfolk, about a thousand years old or more. And I love its design because the traditional cross is a very blunt thing and the way it's shaped is almost divisive. It's got political overtones. Us and them. Are you with the goodies or the baddies? Whereas the old Saxon cross with its swirling knotwork pattern speaks of universal themes, of the mystery of life and its providence woven together with such divine beauty 
and designed by a higher being who loves us all. We are not here to promote a cult. We are here to help everyone engage in that innate spirituality that bubbles up within. That was Paul's intent and it is something that we can rejoice in. Our parish churches are here not just for the Sunday morning folk, not just for those who consider themselves explicitly religious or explicitly Christian, but for everyone. We are all joined together by the maker of all.